Growing up, we're always told, if you work hard, believe in yourself, and want it bad enough, you can do or be anything you want. But what we're not told is you need patience, perspective, passion, and perseverance. Because life is a journey within. And adversity will come. But it's in the face of adversity, true character shines through. So you do what you can, where you are, with what you have. That's the goal. This board is for point three. Do you want to turn with these? It's actually four balances. Four. Okay. Great. Thank you. Got it. Right. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's the file I needed by the end of the day. Cover me, Joe. Where are you going? I gotta go. Tell him I wasn't feeling very good. See, you know if you get caught. I know, but I gotta go. See you tonight. Steve's desk. Joe, is that you? Where's Steve? Uh, he, I don't know where he went. Joe, are you covering for him again? No, ma'am, no. I know, he's gone skiing again, hasn't he? Um... You better find him and tell him dinner's at 6 o'clock sharp. Remind him it's church tonight. And Joe, make sure you come to dinner. Just hung up on me. Yellow. Steve. Hey, bud. Uh, tried to cover for you, but uh, I didn't do too good. Oh, the boss found out. But what do you mean the boss found out? It wasn't the boss you think. It was your mom. Um, well, she told me to tell you, uh, well, find you and tell you that dinner is 5 o'clock sharp. Oh, yeah, there's church tonight and that, uh, well, she invited me to dinner and hung up. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Just wait for me around the corner from the house. I'll meet you. Later, man. All right, later. Crazy cat. No biggie. We'll just go around the back door. Mom will never see us. Thank you. <laughs> He's cracking it. What's up, squirt? Dude, you guys are in trouble. Oh. Mimi's man. Oh, yeah? yeah? How you doing? Good. Yeah, trouble? Yeah. Hey, Mimi, how you doing? Hi. Get washed up for dinner. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Miss George. Hi there. Oh. Mother, before you say anything, I can explain. We don't have time for this right now, but we will make time for it later. After all, you do know the difference between right and wrong. Now go get washed up for dinner. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Guess who? Uh, I give up. Come <laughs> on, Stevie. <laughs> you give up way too easy. 
Everybody? Lord, we thank you for all our riches and our blessings and for this food which we are about to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. And everybody said, Amen. Dig again, guys. Ah, oh, four seats all day. So, Laura, are you coming to church service? Yes, Daddy. I'm singing. Oh, nice. Maybe Steve will come and hear his sister sing. Not tonight, Mom. I have to go train down at Waterton Canyon. Boy, you, you better get your priorities straight and make some amends. I will, but not tonight. You know, Steve, we can go long enough just to see Laura sing. Joe, we have to train. We don't have any more time. Besides, before you know it, the Olympics will be here. You keep sneaking out of work to cut some powder, and you'll have plenty of time to train. Aw, mm -hmm. Mama. Cut Stevie some slack. Aww. He's just young and having fun. Yeah, just having fun, but I am serious about training. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Steve, that was a close one. How'd you get away with it? What do you mean? My parents would have had a fit. But your dad seems pretty calm. Yeah, my mom gets excited, but dad's always calm. I guess it comes from living with my mom and five sisters. Hmm. My sisters have been protecting me my whole life. Let's go. Lucky. sing a song for us. Good. Okay, Steve, you ready? Let's do Dead Man's Curve. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm up for it. Joe, come on. I don't have much time to train. I gotta ride the best if I want to make the Olympics. <sighs> okay, Steve. Word it hard. They're gonna get back to your parents' house for some of that pie. You lead now bring up the rear. Nice, let's do it. All right. Oh.
Dispatch 681. Uh, requesting their life to tip top of the HLZ. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna get home and relieve the ladies from sitting with me, Ma. So I'm not gonna stay for services. Okay. Oh, but um, try to talk to Steve. I will, Daddy. He's just being Stevie. He'll be all right. You know he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it to the Olympics. You'll see. <laughs> Um, Stevie, he's hurt pretty badly. You better come quick. Um, <clears throat> okay. I'll, uh, I'll drive Mom and Daddy, and, um, you just tell Stevie that we're on our way. Yeah. Okay. I don't mean to scare anybody, but, uh, there's been an accident, and Stevie's in the hospital. Which hospital? What happened? Now, Evelyn, she doesn't know. We'll find out more when we get there. All right, somebody get his clothes off. Let's get that uh, get his on monitor. Steve? Well, what did they say? They didn't know he wasn't in the system. That's a good sign. Maybe they won't keep him. Joe, how is Stevie? Where is he? Laura, Mr. and Mrs. George. I don't know, they're not telling me anything since I'm not family. It's okay, Joe. Tell us what happened. Um, while we were riding in Waterton Canyon, and uh, we really hadn't been pushing that hard, uh, we stopped for a breather, and Steve wanted to go down Dead Man's Curve. Mother and Daddy will be right there. Okay. David, we have to get to the hospital. Steve's broken his neck. Um, Ashley will stay with me, Mom, and the kids. Okay, so let's go. He'll be okay. I'm sure he'll be okay. Send these bloods for trauma panel. Is X ray here? Steve? Steve? His jaw is clenched. We're going to need to intubate him. Steve. We're all here, Steve. It's going to be all right, son. I'm here, Stevie. Hey, buddy. David, V, Joe, we are all here. Even Daddy's here. 
Steve. You're strong. You hang tough. God's watching over you, son. Let's just pray. Father God, we ask that you guide the hands of the doctors and the nurses as they prepare to help my boy. Amen. 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 I'm sorry, we have to go. The doctor will talk to you briefly. <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. George. I'm Dr. Johnson. I'll be doing a surgery on Steve. We have to go in to stabilize his neck. What type of injury is it? Steve's neck is broken at the C5, C6, which is the fifth and sixth cervical vertebrae. But Steve's is a little difficult because we have to go through the front of the neck and make sure we don't dislodge any of the broken pieces or he could be completely paralyzed. Oh I have to go. We'll talk more later. We need to get Daddy home and out of his chair. Why don't we take turns? Okay, David, you'll take Daddy home? Oh, sure, sure. Okay, that's a good idea. You and I could stay with Mother, and David, could you bring Daddy back in the morning? He's my only son. How can you do this to us? It's not fair. It was late afternoon. I was heading back to school. I just had one semester left. I had my whole life in front of me. I had job offers. I had a great girlfriend. We were planning a trip to Europe. Everything was perfect. Then, I woke up. Hi, son. Everyone's here. I see you need surgery on your neck. Is that what you want? Is that good? <laughs> yeah, you need it. Okay. Maybe she had to stop somewhere on the way in. I don't know. I'm right here. I just needed a moment to myself, you know. Mrs. George? Yes. How's Steve? How's he doing? Can I see him? No, I'm sorry. Steve needs his strength and energy. So he can build up his strength. So he Mrs. Can walk. George. Evelyn, call me Evelyn. Evelyn, let's just sit here for a moment. Do you know how serious your son is? He needs his strength and rest just so he can make it through the night. The first 24, 48 hours are critical. Stevie's tough, though. He always has been. He's the toughest little brother. <laughs> He's a fighter. He had to be. He has five older sisters. <laughs> That's good. He'll need it. 
Steve has a broken neck and spinal trauma, which means he's lost his ability to use his diaphragm. This makes it difficult to breathe and cough. There must be something we can do. There is. I understand you and your husband are pastors. That's true. Then if I were you, I'd visit the chapel down the hall and pray for your son, because he's going to need a miracle or two just to make it through the night. I'm sorry. We'll talk more later. Please hold my son Steve in your love. Help him find the strength to endure this. Steve? How you doing? Don't try to talk. You have a tube down your throat? If you understand, blink your eyes twice. It's good. I think your family is waiting outside. I'll be right back. Hey, how's he doing? He's holding his own. He blinked. Oh, well, that's something. At least he's communicating. Excuse me. Are you talking about Steve? Yes, ma'am. Can we see him? He's in and out of consciousness. Visiting for ICU is one person every hour for five minutes. Oh. So which one of you would like to go first? Mother, you go. No, Mother, don't let Stevie see those eyes. She's right. He takes one look at your eyes and no. Stevie can read you like a book. Let's just put it together. Because you wouldn't want him to see you like this. You're right. Mrs. George, come with me. Well, hey, man. Welcome back. Every time I close my eyes, I can see what I was going to do. Like what? Like I was going to climb Mount Massive. I can see myself doing it. It's like my whole life flashing by. And then when I open my eyes, it's gone. All right, now slow down. Now you just had a major accident, you know? Trauma. Now it's gonna take some time for you to get back to normal. Look at me. I'll never be normal again. Hi, Steve. Steve, your mom's here. Hi, son. How are you doing? It's going to be all right. Daddy will be here soon. David took him home to rest and change his clothes. <laughs> Some the doctors say you're very lucky. You didn't need to be put on the ventilator and the only thing you have to wear is that lightweight brace. Dad? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Hey. You look like your old self on the road to recovery. Look at me. I got this collar. I can't walk. I can't feed myself. 
can't even go to the bathroom on my own. Look, you're my best friend. And you're always gonna be my best friend. The only thing that's different is you got that collar. Side. It's just out of control, isn't it? Hey guys. No, I'm glad. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Hey, I was gonna see if you guys could do me a favor. I got a guy that I'd like you to go talk to for me. Sure, we'll go see him. That'd be great. It sure is sad, you know. How's that? The only time we get anybody new up here is when somebody breaks their neck. Do you have any questions for me, Steve? Yes. Can I walk? Well, Steve, it's far too early in the injury for us to know what you may or may not have in the way of motion. Chances are, if you don't start regaining some feelings soon, well, we really need to start rehab today. It's critical that we start within the first 48 to 72 hours. We'll start you here today, and then we'll physically transfer your care to Craig Rehab Facility. All right, I just need some time. Okay, Steve. Someone will be back to get you within the hour. Always loved a challenge. I miss Rue. Well, maybe we could bring her down when you go to rehab. That would be great. All right, Stevie. David and V should be in soon. Come in, Laura, what'd you forget? How you doing? I'm Gary, and this here's Jim. Right. So we heard you're an athlete. I used to be. Well, uh, we brought you this tape. It's, well, you know what? We'll just, we'll just leave it for you. You're my guest. Hi, son. How you doing? Okay. Well, I think I'll go get a cup of coffee. That's fine, dear. Steve and I will visit for a while. Okay, honey. Well, son, it's just the two of us. So, how are you? Fine. Dad? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it, son? Go ahead, ask me. Daddy, is God mad at me? Why would you ask that? I mean, will he let me into heaven? Son, nothing's changed. You're the same person you were before the accident. Just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean you're any less of a person. 
I know, but I've missed a lot of church. And this never would have happened if I had been with you. God doesn't work that way. I understand, but I just want to make sure that I'm right with God. Can we pray? Okay. Let's pray. God in heaven, we ask for your guidance, your strength, and your help to get us through these times with me. Help pull us from the depths of depression and your guiding light. My name is Peggy, and I'm a physical therapist here, and this is group therapy, and I'd like to introduce you to Kurt Garrett. He's going to be facilitating group today. Okay, guys, we have a new person here today, Steve George. You mean another gimp? Hey, we've talked about it before. It's okay to refer to yourself that way, but... Uh, come on, Eddie. Just give him a break. He's still got the halo on. Yeah, you jerk. Get over Don't be so angry. Don't be such a bitter mess. Like... He's not. I mean, let's get group started. Come on. Why do we have to do group? Everyone learns from each other. How? Mm -hmm. Everybody's at a different point of the rehab. We all want to learn from someone that's been down that path before. We have people that have new injuries here today. We have people who have been injured for years. Great. The blind leading the blind. Good. You're angry and stubborn. You can use that to your advantage if you use it right. Whatever. Hi, my name's Mary. Uh, at the age of 12, I was diagnosed with a neuromuscular disease called CIDP. I walk with the aid of a cane, and uh, they really don't know what the prognosis is going to be. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to be a singer. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm 13, and I fell off a horse. I broke my back, and I don't know when I'm going back home. Yeah, my name is Josh. I just uh, woke up one day, and went numb, started going numb in my right leg and felt some weakness and went to the hospital. And by that night, actually, I uh, couldn't, couldn't walk. They call it transverse myelitis. There's some swelling in my spine from C6 to T1, and um, it just did its damage. We hit a cow, actually, <laughs> and uh, broke my four and my five, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing when I get home. Really, I guess I'll just, yeah. My name's Steve, fractured my C5, C6, training on my bicycle, went around the pass, hit a tree in the middle of the road, flew off, broke my neck. Hi, I'm your physical therapist. You must be Steve. Unfortunately. You know, when I heard I was going to be working with an up-and-coming Olympian, I sent some of my friends up to talk to you. Did you get the tape? Mm -hmm. I have it. I haven't exactly been in the mood to cook up a batch of popcorn and have movie night lately, you know. Yeah, actually, I do. Well, anyway, I'm Peggy. Nice to meet you. I'd shake your hand, but... You know what? You'll be shaking a lot of hands before you know it. Can we just get started on the utensils? I'm starved. We'll get to that. Right now we need to get on the mat. All right, let's jump on. <laughs> hey, what's that? Well, that's my new travel shower chair. You wanna check it out? Yeah. I just got it in today from New Products. It's supposed to be pretty awesome. It goes together pretty easy. Yeah, you know, they made it to where just about anybody with any kind of hand function can put it together. Probably even you. <laughs> hey, just take it easy. You don't want to overdo it. I'll be okay. I'm an athlete. I used to run five miles a day. Really? Been doing it since junior high. Well, that's great. 
hey, respiratory wanted me to check your breathing. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath and then blow as hard as you can, okay? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, don't worry. It's pretty standard for a new injury. I don't get it. Well, you see, most quads lose the use of their diaphragm to some degree. So you just have to teach yourself to breathe and cough differently. I used to be able to do anything I wanted to. You still can. The most important thing is you have to want it. That's easy for you to say. You're not in a chair. I'm gonna keep it down over there, buddy. What people are trying to work out in here. another prison. Look at it like this. You're one step closer to independence. Oh well, now that you put it that way, I'm ready. Let's go. I think I might have something that'll cheer you up. Here. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> one for me. <laughs> and ta-da! One for you. You'll love it. It's great. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Hi, Stevie. We're all here, buddy. Look, Stevie, how here. Hey. Uh, I think we've all spent about enough time in this here hospital. Come on, kids. Let's go home. Somebody push the chair back. Push the chair. Push the chair back. Watch what we play on the There you go. You guys pick up my feet. Well, just put them on the chair. Yeah, just bend them. Bend them. And he's sit me up a little bit more. Okay, let's get him into the house. Okay, maybe I could just be left alone for a while. Sure. Wait, Joe, where are you going? I can't stand to see him like this, Laura. I know, but it will get better. I can't, I'm sorry, I just can't.
How's Stevie doing? He's never been like this, Daddy. What you doing, kiddo? Same as yesterday and the day before. Have you seen this tape? No. But kiddo, you really should watch this tape. I have to hear this chin-up stuff in therapy. And now here? Why can't everyone just let me be? I must be getting old or hard of hearing or something. I don't think that I just heard you speak up and sass me, did I, young man? No, Mima. I'm going to just leave this with you for a while. Will you take a look at it for me, Ma? Okay. Sure, what? I need you to take me someplace. Where do you want to go? Well, it's a surprise and you can't tell Mom. What are you up to, Steve? <laughs> You'll see. Rugby? I'm gonna play, David. That's great, Stevie, but should you really be in such a hurry? I mean, that looks kind of dangerous. I mean, after all, it is that kind of thing that puts you in a chair in the first place. B. No, no, I, 
It's okay, I know what I am. <laughs> Once an adrenaline junkie, always an adrenaline junkie. Oh, whatever you do, don't tell mother. Yeah. She'll worry yourself sick. Especially don't tell her until at least our first game. Thank you.
Um, can I get two winging it specials? Do one barbecue. One hot. One hot. Why we stopped here? You've been moping around for way too long, man. When are you gonna stop feeling sorry for yourself and do something? In case you haven't noticed, I'm stuck in this chair permanently. Maybe. Is your injury from your neck up or your neck down? Is this how you peer counsel? You know what? Life dealt you a crappy hand. Deal with it. The only difference between you and me is your attitude. You can still do and be anything you want to do and be. Like what? Professional camp? You gotta lose a self-pity trip, man. It's counterproductive. What do you miss most about your life before the accident? Besides chicks? Yeah, Mr. Harmon. Besides chicks. Well, you said I'm not dead. Yeah, sure. Seriously, though. I don't know. I miss sports. Being out there, pushing yourself. Playing on a team, competition, good, and I get it. I got an idea. Where are we going? You'll see. What's this? <laughs> this, my friend, is Hope. This is quad rugby. It's the only sport designed for quads. It's Hold awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is, man. Hey, Brad, how's it going? Great, buddy. How you doing? This Good. is our new recruit here. Hi, I'm Jason Roberts. Steve George, how long you been injured? Uh, I've been hurt a while. Well, get ready for the ride of your life. <laughs> Steve here is our in-house adrenaline junkie. You can see what I mean. It's nice to meet you. Uh, you too, man. Take it easy. Yeah. Have fun, buddy. <laughs> He's a maniac. He is crazy. So when can I play? Well, first you train, and then we train, and then you can play. Okay. Yeah, man, let's take a look. Okay. Newly. Newly stand. Come here. 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 Yes, Slow to you participate. They wait for a winner to cheer their soul. Oh, good boy. There are those who will wager on who will win. Watching the race begin. They hope for a winner when none has been. But there are those whose feet are steady, those whose hearts are ready, those whose hands are free from sin. And there are those with lives conceited, moving unimpeded, wanting just to run to Him. And they run for the honor of the me. And they run for the pleasure of the Father. The way you run is a reflection of the goal you see. Can't do this. What do you mean? He's your best friend. I know, but it just tears me up to see him this way. That's just silly. I, maybe it is. It's just it's just better this way. Where's Jason? He's out there. 
What's he doing? It's cold out there. He says he's training. How long has he been out there? Since 7.30. That's two and a half hours. That's too long. I told him to take it easy. He hasn't taken anything easy his entire life. <laughs> That's true. That's what'll get him through this. You ever seen quad wrestling? What the hell's that? <laughs> oh, yeah! That's quad wrestling. <laughs> and she was looking at me, expecting me to get up. Hey, wanna see something funny? Sure. Do you ever notice how most people will talk louder to someone in a wheelchair? No, they don't. <laughs> Watch this. Excuse me, can we get a couple more pitchers of beer, please? Yeah, you know what? I'll get those for you right away, okay? That's crazy. So people are dumb. They think that if you're in a chair, then you can't hear. Yeah, I used to carry a sign that said cripple, not deaf, stupid. Oh, it was funny, oh, but sign. his wife made him stop. Well, I do funny things all the time. In fact, my sister, Laura, she took me to the mall to do some Christmas shopping. I want to go see Santa. Only we weren't thinking and got on the escalator instead of the elevator. <laughs> oh, you should have seen it. It was hysterical. Here's Laura. She's pushing me. I got the bags and we're going up and everything's all good until we get to the last part of the escalator and my chair get, it gets, on, <laughs> gets stuck. And Laura's like, oh, oh. And I'm like, Laura, we're stuck. And people are piling up on us all over. And so we finally squirt out the right out through the front. <laughs> and this security guy standing there. And he's this guy from New York. He's like, what were you thinking? Are you retarded or what? Or what? Excuse us. So next time you see my sister Laura, go up to her and ask and say, hey, are you retarded or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's good though. You know, you've got to find the humor in some things. Well, Laura and I don't have a great track record. A first day home from rehab, she and her husband dropped me during transfer. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Nope. We had to go all the way back to rehab just to make sure nothing got jarred loose. Oh, so that explains what's wrong with you. Brad. Hey, Brad, tell the story about the tournament in Vegas. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, come great. on, Brad. All right, all right. So we're all drinking. You know, we decide to start doing shots, mm -hmm. getting stupid. And uh, this guy decides to get up on stage and become a go-go dancer. And all of a sudden, here he comes, bonsai <laughs> off the stage, lands on top of Gary. They both end up bloody. Hey and uh, next thing you know, we're being escorted out of there. You guys are crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, this coming from the guy yeah. who jumps out of a perfectly yeah. good yeah. lane. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mary, why don't you uh, get up on stage and sing for us? Uh, oh, I don't think so. Not come after on. that Vegas story. Oh, come, come on! Come on, hey, we promise we won't get up on stage. Yeah, I already asked the band. They're ready for you. Okay, all right. Yeah! Go get them, Mary! Show them who's boss. Sometimes this world is more than I can stand. Pushing and shoving and shoving and pushing to all that I hate. to go up above any cloud of doubt I can find peace of mind within myself eagles fear angels long to go Gonna seize this day 
Come on. Honey, you're burning with a fever. J Janie! Janie, come quick! We gotta get him to the hospital! Okay, He's burning up with a fever. Let's go! Let's go! No. I have been feeling great. Well, he may have overdone his workout yesterday. It's probably a UTI that's very common with quads. UTI? A urinary tract infection. I'll get a doctor. What, honey? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot where I was at. Mm, I got it. Come on in. Hey, you ready? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Where are you boys going off to now? I'm taking Steve-O camping. Camping? Did you know it snowed in the mountains last yeah. week? You're gonna be cold. You better be careful. Yes, ma'am, we will. I promise not to lose them. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll have a good time, son. We're gonna keep you overnight so we can get that infection under control. Can't I just go home? No, I'm afraid you can't. But I have to train. I can't miss training. You don't understand. Son, you don't understand. You gotta get well, or you won't be able to do anything. I'm gonna go ask some questions. Jason, it's just a little setback. Mom, I can't miss practice. It's just a game. It's not that important. It's not just a game. It's a way of life. Quad rugby's a lifesaver. You'll see. This is great. I haven't had this much freedom since before I was injured. Nice, man. I'm glad you like it. Say, why'd you ask me? Well... <laughs> Someone asked me when I first got hurt. I kind of felt the same way you do. I'll never forget it. Anyone I know? Mm. Um, there was a guy named Rick. He died about a year ago. Think she's got your stick, buddy? I think she does. Really, you want a little marshmallow, too? <laughs> so give her no. Yeah, give her a marshmallow. Here. Good girl. You like marshmallows. Yeah, he was a good guy. 
What happened to him? Well, uh, he had a really bad UTI. And then his kidney shut down. So, you know. <sighs> what do you say we get some sleep, man? Sounds good. I'm bush. Yeah, me too. This should be good. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to scoot yourself forward a little more. Yeah? Yeah. How <laughs> 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 they coming? Oh. Well, I hope you like them scrambling. It's just that's about all I can do. That that works. Works. Not that pretty. Sausages come out, okay. They're pretty easy. Just gotta roll them around. So what about some coffee? You still want some? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll make some coffee. Alright, well, gotta rinse this guy out. Oh, I'll do it. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna go clean this pan. We have water in the van. Oh, I got it. Oh, you learn. Come on, Rue. <laughs> Help me, Rue. Oh, I wish I had a camera. You all right? Cool. All right, I'm gonna throw you the rope. Then tie it to your chair, and I'll try to pull it up. <laughs> That's real funny. Can't wait to tell the guys about this. Huh? Alright. Are we having fun yet? Oh. Having fun? Try that. Alright. Oh. I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, this is. Oh. I'm falling. You're stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. Here. Hold on, let me. Here. Let me help you. Right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call help? <laughs> About an hour away at least. I'll get there as soon as I can. All right, thanks for the call. Uh, What's up, everything okay? It's Jason, he's in the hospital. Well, that's a kid I met, the one you said the new recruit. Yeah, he's a good kid. He just doesn't have a lot of family support. So I try to help him out whenever I can. Yeah, you seem to do that a lot. Yeah, like I told you, people help me out. And now it's my turn to give back. You know, I think I'd like to help people at the center. Yeah, I'm sure they'd like it, man. Everyone needs help. They could use it. Speaking yeah. of help, <laughs> we, we could do something all right about now. Um. See you yeah. practice. Yeah, man. Here. Hey, tell uh, Jason I said hang in there. Will do. Cool. Thanks so much. Yeah. Gotta get myself washed up. 
Sounds good. Hey, you still got mud on your nose. Hey, bye, Rue. Troy, what you doing? I want to see what it's like. It's hard. Yeah, it is, but it gets easier with time. You mind doing me a favor? Sure, Uncle Steve, what? How about giving Rue a bath for me? Okay, come on, girl. If you have in this UTI, we constantly have to check your temperature. Oh, it's not bad. It's come down a little bit, 103.6. When's my sponge bath? Your sponge bath? Yeah. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling a little better. Are you sure? Yeah. What's my name? It's Nurse Amy, Do you remember Amy, my name? Right? Okay, yes. It's Nurse Amy. I'm gonna be back in a few minutes to check on you, okay? Okay. Okay, you take care. I'll be okay. back soon. Okay. okay. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey. This sucks. Man, I'm gonna be out of commission for a while. It's the way of life, man. UTIs suck. You gotta learn to constantly be drinking a lot of water. Come on. I'm not dying. Everybody acts so serious. I just want to play rugby. Jay, um, I don't know what they told you, but quads can die from UTIs. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. My friend Rick died that way. So you, you know, you gotta listen to what the doctors tell you, do what they say. Rugby's not going anywhere. It's always gonna be here for you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. No worries, man. How'd you know I was here? Yeah. You'll learn really quick that it's a tight-knit family. Word gets around fast, sometimes too fast. We watch out for our own. Dude, you're <laughs> filthy. What happened yeah. to you? Don't ask, man. I'll tell you that story some other time. All right. No, I gotta go, man. Okay. Take care. Bye. See ya. So, how was camping? Ah, it was great. It was awesome. Can't wait to move out. Well, that's great, but you have to break it to your mother. Break mm. what to me? Steve has something to tell you. What is it? I'm moving out. You what? Relax, Mother, it's time. Yeah, calm down. Listen to what he has to say. Mother, you know I've never been one to rely on others. I've always been on my own. Am I pushing too hard because I'll stop? No, it's not you guys. It's me. I need to have my own space. I understand that. And I just want to make sure you're ready. It's time. All right, if you're sure. Yeah, no, I just need to find someplace cheap, somewhere I can get me and my chair in and out. Hmm. I know a place, and hmm. it's free. Where does that mean? D.B. could live in my place. It's just sitting there empty. Oh, that's hmm. perfect. With a little bit of work, I think I can get around. Thanks, Mima. Welcome. This place ain't open until 9 a.m. I know. I'm a little behind in training, so I wanted to get a workout before everyone showed up. Well, I can't have you in here off hours, man. Come on, man. Give me a break. What do you say? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take this trash down this hallway and throw it. You better be out of here by the time I get back. enough. Here's a check for your services. Yeah. Well, you know, we've been talking about it and uh... we don't want your money. Consider it a love offering for all the things you do, spending time with the sick. And for all the time you spend with families making funeral arrangements. You don't have to do that. It's my job. Well, that's true, but it's our way of saying thanks for all you do for everyone from the church. Oh, yeah. It's one more thing. And what's that? Steve? Yeah. I hear you ordered a new truck with hand controls so you could get around? Yeah, but now I gotta figure out how to pay for it. 
Well, that's what we heard. So the other night we took a love offering at the church. We told him it was for you. What? But I... Dad, what's he talking about? I don't know. I was out doing a visitation. Well, we have more than enough to cover the cost, so... It's all yours. <laughs> That's too much. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. You know where to guess. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look, Rue. Look, we got a new truck. What you say, Rue? You got your own place. I got my own place, too. Only problem is there's nothing to eat. What do you say, girl? You want to get some food? Huh? Let's go. Let's go get some food. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I got it. Rue and I are going to be just fine. <laughs> Sweet truck, dude. Where'd you get the new wheel, buddy? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try us. My dad's church took an offering and paid for it. Oh. Wow, I'm so good. Obviously enough for a new truck. See this thing? Yeah, check this out. And they gave me a check for 10 grand. That thing make your breakfast too? Well, it's amazing how many things you can Steve, do. Steve, my man. How you hey. doing? Hey! All right, you looking good? Getting on the other side, huh? Yeah, I've been blessed. Good. This guy's crazy, don't believe a word he said. <laughs> uh-uh, it's the other way around. She's the crazy lady. No, no, no. <laughs> she runs around the hospital with these goggles on. Sunglasses. <laughs> Ask him to tell you about these sometime. <laughs> good to see you. You too. Take it easy. Take it easy. She's a good gal. So tell me about yourself, Logan. So how you doing, buddy? I'm hanging. You, uh, sure it's not too early for you to be getting back in here yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jace. Don't push yourself too hard, man. You don't want to have another setback. Look who's talking. The crazy man himself. Who, me? I've heard stories about you. <laughs> no way, Jose. Lies, all lies. Yeah. Not lies. <laughs> Not lies. Oh, man. Well, uh, by the time you get that glove on, you should be all healed up and ready to play. You ain't fooling. <laughs> all right, man. See you out there. This chair sucks, but it's a loner, so I guess I can't complain too much. You haven't bought yourself a new chair yet? Nah, I'm gonna have to wait some time before I can do that. I can't afford my medical bills, let alone get a new chair. You know how it is. Yeah. Jace, what's yeah. your last name? Roberts. Why? I'll show you. What are you doing? We'll see. Here you go. Dude, this is a check for 10 grand. Are you crazy? Apparently so. A new chair, they only cost two to four K. Are you sure about this? Yeah, so go buy yourself a new chair. Pay off some medical bills and 
I don't know, maybe give the rest to somebody else who needs a little bit of help. Man, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but why are you doing this? I mean, don't you need the money? Right now, you need it more than I do. And as far as why I'm doing it, well, sometimes you just got to do things for no other reason than it being the right thing to do. And when you live your life like that, things have a way of working themselves out, you know? Yeah. Thanks, man. Mr. George, that due to an existing balance of surplus annual funding, which must be spent before the end of this month, we are happy to inform you that hospital administration has selected you to be the recipient of this balance. The money will be immediately applied to your existing hospital bills. Thank you, Jesus. Now keep in mind, this is a high-performance team, and the players from this team will move on to the invitational trials for the Paralympic Games. Good? All right, get going. And they run with power and with majesty. And they run for the honor of the me. wanted to thank you again. For what? Man, I appreciate all that you've done. I mean, all the guys and rugby's helped give me my life back. You know? Yeah, I do. You want some water? Oh, here comes that chick. What? I think she's checking you out. No, she's probably just checking out the dogs. <laughs> well, maybe. What is it about dogs? They're almost as good as babies. <laughs> I don't know. Is it with women and babies and animals? I don't know. Must be some sort of maternal thing or something. Yeah. Well, here she comes. Wait, 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 wait. No. I'll uh, Hold see on. you later. Wait. <laughs> hey. Hi. Cool dog. Thanks. What's her name? Uh, Rue. Rue, it's a baby. You know, you're looking pretty good out there. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yes, you do. You know, I've seen you play before. You've come a long way. What's your name? Jill. Hey, Jill, I'm Steve. Steve. Steve George. Rookie of the year, injured yourself while cycling. Wow, I'm impressed, Jill. You've done your homework. <laughs> well, I am one of the therapists for the high-performance team, so it's my job. Cool. Well, I, uh, it was nice talking to you. I guess I yeah. better get back to practice. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk later. Steve. Yeah? Do you want to get a bite to eat after practice? I, uh, uh, sure. Okay, okay. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Ready, guys? Let's get it on. Let's go, Steve. Go, let's go. Go, 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 build up your endurance, okay? Yes, sir, whatever you say, coach. So, where are we going? Well, we're gonna swing by my folks, uh, drop off through, I'm gonna get cleaned up, and then we'll go to dinner and we'll be on our way. To your folks? Oh my gosh, isn't that kind of sudden? Hey, don't go get any ideas. I'm not, I'm not. Behave. All right, okay. Oh. 
Oh, it's Steve. And he's got a girl with him. Ev, get out of that window. Mom? Dad? In here. This is Jill. Hi. Thanks. I'm gonna go get cleaned up, and then we're going to dinner. So we're gonna leave her here, and I'll pick her up later. Jill, Richard George. Nice to meet you, Richard. This is my wife, Evelyn. You too, Evelyn. Would you like something to drink? Yes, anything cold would be great. Evelyn just finished making some tea. Oh, wonderful. That's fine. Here you go. Thank you, ma'am. You're most welcome. Where are you from? Seattle, originally. So, where did you meet Steve? I work with Quad Rugby. I'm just here right now doing the trials, but I think I might stay in Denver. Oh? Yeah, I really like it here. So, how did you get involved with rugby? Uh, I'm a physical therapist, and I've worked with a lot of the guys, and the association definitely needed a lot of help. Okay, let's go. I hope they didn't bombard you with a bunch of questions. Oh, not at all. We're not that bad. Oh, yes you are, but I love you guys anyway. Well, it was really nice meeting you both. We'll be back later to pick up Rue. Steve, she's a keeper. Give it a rest, Mother. <laughs> To doing? This article says they're looking for heroes, so we nominated Steve for all the work he does out at the rehab center with the other patients. He's gonna kill you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey Steve, you might want to check this out, man. Well, man, I wish I'd have made the cut. Well, don't think just because you didn't make the team this time that you're going to sit around eating chicken wings for the whole season. Man, I can't do this alone. I need a trainer. You're going with me, bro. We'll train each other. Because four years from now, I'm taking your spot. <laughs> Jace, we're going skiing in the morning. Will you be okay here handling things by yourself? I'll be fine, but I'm not staying here. I'm going with you. Are you sure you can take sitting and watching? Have you ever known me to sit on the sidelines for anything? No. So why should this be any different? I'm skiing. Son, be reasonable. I am. They have great equipment. Haven't you seen the blind skier or the disabled skier with one leg? But you're neither. I'm going to do this. I'll call Steve. He's done this. I'll get him to go along. Mom, look at you. You have Parkinson's and you're going up. But I'm not skiing, I'm watching. But I've always been active, so why should this be any different? Suit yourself.
guys don't have to worry. Jason's awesome. He's gonna do just fine. He's a pro. You're a pro, Jace. Go get him, buddy. This time. Oh, nothing much. Just uh, let's see your publisher's clearing house, uh, United Christian Fund. Oh yeah, this. Uh, what is it? Uh, nothing. Just a uh, certified letter to carry the Olympic torch when it comes to town. It's here. Yeah, it sounds like your mother. It says here you can pick up your torch anytime next week. Mm. Let me see that. Hello? Yes? Just a minute. It's a local news station. They want to talk to our celebrity. Hello? Quadriplegics can play this game. It's our only game that we have. You were nominated to carry the torch. Is that because of all the help you give to the patients at the center? <laughs> He's too modest to tell you. But he helps out a lot of patients down there at the hospital. He helped me immensely. You know, it's a lot easier to follow the path somebody else has gone down. And you know, I hear a lot of people say that, man, my life is over. And I'll never be a man. <laughs> it's just different, but it's definitely not over. last time was the first time that we had the exact same uniforms as the Olympic team. We got the same everything, which, you know, it's awesome. And you know, we've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. You know, they had, for a gold medal, they got $25,000. For us, it's $2,500. Yes, these guys, they're not getting paid to know what they're doing. And they're not having endorsements by Nike and Reebok and Under Armour, all this, you know, these major brands. And I think that would just give them a whole other look at what being an athlete is, because these guys are playing for their hearts. They're playing because they love this game. And the first thing that I remember, this guy caught the ball, got hit, and knocked out of his chair. And I just said, no way. When I had that injury, I was just like, dang, that was pretty much the hardest thing to grasp, because um, to, make, uh, to give you an understanding, uh, how it was. Uh, I had a girlfriend at the time and she was, uh, she broke up with me, but that was, the abuse in the sport part was even worse than that. It was really one of the big things that helped uh, resurrect my life, I'd say, because I was really struggling and just trying to find myself, finding an outlet for all my passion, and I loved to play sports before. You feed off their attitudes, they're, they're happy to be here, and it just gets you in the right frame of mind. Uh, the game has been nothing but good for me. It's, uh, I don't know where I'd be without it. It's, it's everything to me right now. 